and repairs continue as the Hyatt power plant ramps up production. Quick morning update on Oroville Reservoir on Tuesday, the 7th of March. Before I got to go to work, let's take a look at the numbers today. Reservoir elevation is getting up there, 857.22 as of 8 o'clock this morning. Remember the arbitrary knock it off number of 860 feet for this current operation is approaching rapidly remember the entire height is still 900 feet to the emergency spillway 860 feet still gives you 40 feet of storage space the arbitrary knock it off number outflows are looking good they've cranked up what looks like a second turbine or turbine in the um hyatt powerhouse so at 3500 cfs outflow i think that represents two turbines there's a total of six turbines in the um Hyatt Powerhouse. I still believe number six unit is still out for uh, turbine blade failure or excessive turbine leakage. Inflows uh, are, th what do we got, 1310, 15,000 or so CFS. These two oddball numbers, minus 571 and plus 2531 or 253. If you look at that, it looks like uh, just bad data points. They just fly way off the chart. There's your there's your more likely average of the inflows steadily going down. Rain, rain remains the same, and the river released into the Feather River remains the same, 2,500 feet, keep, keeping the Feather River alive. Seven-day forecast for the Sierras. For the Sierras, remember, look at the weather for the Sierras, not necessarily the valley. All that snow is up in the Sierra. By the way, Sierra is the plural for <laughs> the Sierra Nevada mountain range. I'll try to correct myself on that. Highs do get above freezing, but lows still freezing hard at night, keeping that snow melt manageable at this time. Looks like a little more precipitation possible on Sunday. Back on the on the uh, C E uh, back on the Department of Waterways website here. Get on there and look at these pictures for Oroville. For everybody looking for rebar, they've got some pictures already posted. This is showing the erosion in the tail race, but it does show rebar uh, going both directions. Not a lot of rebar, not very good looking rebar, but in 1968, that met the requirements at the time. It's in there. The rebar is in the spillway. Now, if you want to argue the quality of that rebar, that will be a large part of the investigation. Here's a good shot of the rebar coming out of the um, wall where it makes the 90 degree turn from the edge of the spillway to the, um, to the right wall. Plenty of rebar bent and twisted just like you would expect to see there. There is some new, let's see, here's uh, the lower tail race. You can see evidence of more twisted and bent rebar. Again, not a whole lot, not a whole lot of rebar. Reinforcing bar. It would be nice if DWR would get in there and, and show us a tape measure, what size and what's the on-center spacing on this. And that spill weight does look pretty thin right in there. It, it's um, kind of disconcerting to see the the thickness vary so much over the span of that spillway again very hard to determine based on the size and scale of this operation if they just get down there with a tape measure and show us what what we're working with that'd be a big help i can't get in there and do that or i would uh new video out today showing yesterday's work Oh, by the way, I'm corrected on this. Um, okay, right there. Hold it. Pause that. In this new video from yesterday, you can see more rebar, lots of rebar in this rubble at the base of the plunge pool. Again, I think this is uh, chunks of the sidewall where the spillway uh, goes up the sidewall, though I'm not sure on that. Back here on the waterfall, I'm, I've been corrected, and I agree. They didn't necessarily 
fix the gates as much as they were able to uh, sandbag and move that water off to the side. So I wonder if they're going to move the water off the other direction once they get done with these repairs and put some shot creep in on the other side. But they don't have a lot of time to work with. That water level, they've only got two more feet to work with before the arbitrary knock it off number. Inflows, right now inflows are, could, could be handled by the Hyatt power plant, but that's gonna change and they're gonna have to fire this main spillway up again. So stay vigilant. I gotta go to work. My day job.